Which phone has the best cameras in 2023? The iPhone 15 Pro Max, the Pixel 8 Pro, or the S23 Ultra? Well, I actually have two professional photographers right here with me right now. Hi, I'm Eugene. I've shot weddings for 15 years, and currently I shoot real estate photography. Hi, I'm Ben. I have been doing photography for about five years now, and I also do real estate photography. Yep, so I went out and took 35 photos. They haven't seen either of them or any of them, so they're gonna be judging which photo ultimately looks better between them so let's get started let's start off with a portrait photo taken on each one what do you guys think uh, I like the bokeh on the left the middle one looks a bit flat yeah I also like the left for me it's honestly the colors the one in the middle looks a little too warm and the one on the right looks too cool for me S23 Ultra, both of you guys got that. Wow. All right, next up we have a selfie portrait. Ah, on this one I actually like the warm, so I like the one on the right. I like the one on the left. I like the colors, it doesn't look over sharpened, it's still very sharp, but like the one in the middle looks a bit too sharp for me. All right, so S23 Ultra. 15 Pro Max. All right, next up we have a kind of macro shot. This is actually with the telephoto lens on each one. They all look very similar. I think the right one has uh, more of the warm, so I'm guessing that's the S23 Ultra, which I've been thinking, <laughs> so I'm not gonna pick it this time. So I, I think the middle one looked great on this one. I agree with the middle one as well. I like that one the most. I like the dynamic range. There's more highlights. S23, oh, wow, wow, it's doing great. All right, next up we have a telephoto photo, so no portrait on this. Ah, the sand looks really interesting. It's so different between all the images. So the left one is very cool. Middle one, I think that's, it's almost a purple color. I don't think that's accurate. So I'm gonna go with the right one for this one for me. Yeah, my initial instinct is also the right. It just looks like the exposures are very proper on that one. That's the iPhone. Next up, we have kind of like a freezing the action kind of photo carousel. Uh, first thing jumps at me is the left side is way over sharpened. Middle one's a bit on the warmer side. Um, I like the right one here. I agree. That was the initial thing. And it's not because Eugene said it. I, <laughs> so I next one, you, first. you start first <laughs> yeah. next time. Okay. Hey, that's Six the pixel. Seven. Actually, yeah. Pixel 8 Pro, that's actually a okay. 8 Pro, guys. All right, next up, we have a 25X telephoto on each one. Uh, I would say right one right away. Left one has a lot of noise. Yeah. The right one has a lot more detail, looks crystal clear. Uh, so I'm gonna guess the left <laughs> is an iPhone. It's really, I don't know, it seems very blurry. The left one looks like it's using almost digital zoom versus mm -hmm. optical. The right one, is, the middle one is lacking sharpness and the right one is good. That's the S23 Ultra. That's because it has uh, the 10X optical. It's the only one that has that. All right, we have a portrait. I think the middle one is iPhone, uh, but for me, I like the right one on this one. I think I'm like, I keep choosing the Ultra on <laughs> all of them. I can almost feel the middle one is iPhone. We'll see what happens. Let's see. For me, it's hard. Like instinctually, I like the center photo the most. I think it's maybe because there's more exposure there. Maybe a little bit more color. So I choose the center one. Yeah, yeah. The iPhone, you got the S23 again. What, do you, what phone do you have? <laughs> so I, I actually, I actually pre-ordered the iPhone 15 Pro Max. Uh -huh. So at the end of this, I think I might have to cancel my pre-order. <laughs> All right, another selfie, no portrait this time. Interesting, well, the one on the right for sure is less, you know, it's a wider lens. Mm -hmm. I like the fact that I can see more of your faces. Just for that alone, I would like a wider selfie mm -hmm. camera and I would choose the right one. Yeah, I think we're starting to see a trend. We could see one of the images are always over sharpened, which I think the pixel. Mm -hmm. So I think the left one is a bit over sharpened here, but yes, I like the right one too. The right one? Oh, that's oh, actually that's the pixel. Interesting. It's the opposite, too. That's interesting. <laughs> Surprise. <laughs> Surprise. All right, so this one was a telephoto action shot. I could definitely see the shutter speed on the center and the left are a little bit too slow. The right one, it's using a faster shutter speed, but then you have more noise. But it is sharper. So I actually would probably choose the right one. I actually don't think that's... Um... Grain, I think that's not enough zoom. Same previous mm. photo we saw where the iPhone, mm -hmm. when you zoom too much, it starts going from optical to digital zoom. So I think that's what's happening here. Um, I would prefer just straight up optical zoom versus digital. Mm -hmm. So I would choose the left one here. That one's the Pixel, right one's the iPhone. Okay, so now we got a macro, trying to match framing on each one. Mm, I like the center one. It's either the sharpest was off on the other ones, but the center mm -hmm. one is my favorite. 
Yeah, me too. I like that the whole image looks in focus, whereas the other oh, two, they seem like maybe the edges are not in focus, but this oh, one is... a small amount. Yeah, the whole thing's in focus. That one's the I iPhone. Oh, wow. All right, next up we have a just regular portrait. It looks like the left and right, they're selectively brightening the face. The middle is kind of... I'm not saying it's a good or a bad thing, it's just, just what I see, but I like the middle one. I like the right one. Um, I, on the left one, I noticed there's like the bars are not in focus, but the right one looks pretty good and, and I like the lighting. Okay, so Pixel and iPhone. Tell I'm an iPhone boy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I have an iPhone, I just don't choose it. <laughs> okay, so this is also like a telephoto. This might be like 10x or something, I think. I'm gonna choose the left one. I like that it's more exposed. Yeah, and more sharp, and I'm choosing the left one also. I, on the right side, you can see it's really blurry on the mm -hmm. bottom, so it's left side. That's the iPhone. All right, this right here is a 2x portrait on each. I could tell by the prod scene that the right is the iPhone. Yeah. It's not <laughs> I, I'll be wrong again like I usually am, but I just have that oh, feeling. Let's see, uh, I don't know. Yeah, I like the right one here. I like the right one too, and I, I don't really know why. You guys are right, right. that is the iPhone. <laughs> <laughs> All right, another portrait. I'm gonna guess the center is the iPhone, but <laughs> I don't know why. I just yeah, I, I have, have the same thoughts. Yeah, really. <laughs> the same. Yeah, so I'm gonna go with the middle. This is one. now calling which phone? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, you're right. Yeah. It's the iPhone. It's just I think that <laughs> what iPhone's doing is mm -hmm. it's exposing it. Like I can just kind of tell it's by the exposure. More natural. It's almost like the other images have like a filter, okay. like a Lightroom uh, filter on them. You can see it's, it's a lot more natural it's, without any you know, purple. Or this is warm and that's more purple. It's, yeah, it's cool. And the iPhone just leaves it neutral. Nice. Yeah. Okay, selfie portrait. Oh, I like the right one. Right. Okay, left one's a bit too cool mm -hmm. for me, and middle one's a bit too warm, which I would guess is the ultra, so I'm gonna go with the right. I'm having a hard time. So, <laughs> I think I'm gonna go with the left. I don't really necessarily like the colors, but I do like, I, I think I see more detail in the left one, especially like the hair, the flyaways, the freckles, and the, the details in the faces. I like the sharpness of the left nice. one. Left and right. Oh, iPhone on the left, Pixel on the right. Oh. All right, so let me know what you guys think about this one and I'll tell you what it is. <laughs> Horrible real estate photo. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, guys, I need to practice. <laughs> it's not your fault. <laughs> so I think this one is testing uh, digital zoom on all three mm. cameras. The middle one looks the worst, so I think that's the mm. iPhone because it doesn't have as much zoom. And it looks like it's applying a lot more sharpening. Like if you look at the graphs, it just kind of jumps at you. It's yeah, a tough I, one. I don't like any of them. Yeah. <laughs> that's an option. I think the left one has the most detail. I'm gonna go with the left. I'm gonna go with the one in the middle. I see more detail in the grass. I'm guessing the left and the right one have just a lot of like denoising or something like that. Mm -hmm. But who knows? And then they're adding back sharpening. They're like a, back on applying denoising and then adding sharpening. Mm -hmm. Where the middle one is almost like a clarity slider in Lightroom. It's, mm -hmm. it's not sharpening, but it's like it's like a Turn bigger yeah. Well. Oh. This was the original photo. So it was oh, a 1x, wow. the, really? the main camera, oh, all of them set to the 50 megapixel mode or 48 on the iPhone. So I just cropped in like crazy in post. Okay, here's another one. Mm, the right one has a lot more detail. Yep. I think that's the, I think that's the Samsung. Well, that is the Samsung. Yeah, yeah that's yep. the one I would have chosen too. Yeah, yep, it actually has a 200 megapixel mode which the other ones don't. Um, they both have 48 and 50 megapixel sensors. So, yeah. hey, you guys I, clearly called it out. And I saw like yeah. more detail in the seagull. Yeah. That yeah, was the one that really stood out yeah. to me. So, hey, it works for so that. It mode. was shot like this at 24. Yep. Shot like this, and I just yeah. cropped and post with the uh, with that mode. So it's yeah, interesting. Pretty impressive. I would say <laughs> left. I'm looking at the tree. It looks the most natural. Yeah, that's my favorite too. I agree. Left. That was the iPhone. How to do that? <laughs> <laughs> Samsung's been like winning and yeah. on the zoom well, ones. Basically, this is actually a panorama on each one. So it was a oh. really wide panorama. We cropped into the center to kind of see which one has the best, and this is what we got. Uh huh. So it's not using its yeah. zoom lens. Nope. The panorama. One yeah. X. Yeah. Interesting. So one X. The, you, you either have a ultra wide or a 1x, I think, for a panorama. Okay, this is another portrait, but it's a weird situation because I intentionally put some bushes or a tree in front of it. Yeah, the right one has a lot more 
blur. Oh, um, I like the middle one. I think that one is the most natural. I'm having a very hard time between the middle and the left. I feel like the middle one has a little bit, maybe too much foreground blur. Yeah, let's go with the middle. Middle? Yeah. That's the iPhone. Next up, lots of color differences here. That's for yeah. sure. <laughs> yeah. Bright one is a bit too blue for me. I think the camera's struggling with like a overcast sky and the and the blue uh, shirt your uh, the boy is wearing. I think the I like the left one here. Don't yeah, that? left one. That was the pixel, and that was actually the most accurate to the actual color of the mm. of the rock. Yeah. Here's a zoom shot. I believe 25x on each. The right one has more detail, but the left has. I think better color. I think I'm gonna go with the iPhone on. <laughs> yeah, I, just okay, the yeah. Left one. Left okay, left yeah. One I'm probably gonna choose the center one. I just like that there's not as much create, you know, noticeable noise. All right, let's see. Yep, left was iPhone, Pixel was in the center. Eugene, you got a good eye. You already know which one's the iPhone. <laughs> Picking out the iPhone. <laughs> now this was actually getting quite dark here, so it brought up the faces for sure. The middle one is a bit too cool. So either either left or right for me, they're about the same. I'm gonna go with the left here. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna go with the left as well. I like the colors a lot better. And we got the S23. This is ultra wide. I like the left. You know, there's more saturation in the colors. I like that it's a little bit brighter. So the, the thing about ultra wide is people mm -hmm. always look at the corners. The corners are sharp or not. The right and left has more uh, blurry corner. The middle one is a tad, I would say, a little sharper. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna go with the middle here. S23 in pixel. No love for the iPhone. <laughs> here we go, we have a zoom shot. I'm gonna call it left. Not sure why. I just like it. Yeah, I think the same thing. It's more natural looking. Yeah, I'm gonna go with the left also. All right, the left one was the pixel. Okay, what do you guys think about this? They're all way different. I think I like the right the most. It did a good job of denoising. I see like maybe less noise and still sharp. Yeah, I'm gonna go with the right also and I'm gonna make a guess that's the Samsung again. <laughs> Let's see. Well. It was oh, the Pixel, no, actually. The pixel. Interesting. Yeah, surprisingly, the S23 Ultra has the 10x lens, so it should look the sharpest, but I guess... Um, it's the shutter speed. The shutter speed. And now we're getting into the really dark night mode shots. This here was like almost pitch black. I could hardly see anything. Wow, that's amazing that like yeah. a tiny little cell phone camera can it's do, really, really dark. Can do yeah. any of this. Was this more than a second exposure or like night mode on each? Yep, night mode on each, so probably like uh, two, three seconds on each, I think, something like that. There were some lamps, like you could see light from a lamp there, but it was still very, very dark. I would say as far as night mode, the I can see a lot more detail in the right one. As far as like what looks the best, I kind of like the left one. It's like more natural, the mm -hmm. red exactly. one looks like it's processed. More moody. Yeah. Straight out of Lightroom. <laughs> <laughs> Just brought the yeah. sliders up. <laughs> yeah, I think the left one is I like more the left natural. One too. That was, that's what you would see with your eye. That's the yeah. iPhone. Well, the crazy part is you can't see that with your eye. Yeah, it was pretty dark. Yeah. It was right? Pretty dark. That's true. But it's still like, yeah. if you could, if you had night vision in your eyes. Yeah, yeah. You know. <laughs> that's what you would see with night vision. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. It seems like this one tried to make it look like daytime, you know? Yeah, Even though it was yeah that's true. Yeah. It did. Here's a tough situation. Yeah, this is where I think the, iPhone, the any phone camera, even like a regular camera, yeah. would struggle really unless you strong. add flash. I like the middle one. For me, I like the left one. <laughs> I just well, like it. Left pixel, middle iPhone. And here is a portrait with some nice bokeh in the background, and you can probably tell the difference. I think the middle one is iPhone, and again, none of the, they're, just, they're not adding any color, or but the left one looks the best <laughs> to me, so I'm gonna mm. go with the left. left one. So to me, I, I think I like a little bit less bokeh, so I like the center one. So S23 left, middle is pixel. Now this is one of the photos that I took with the 5X lens for portraits. As you can see, the focal length is uh, different with compression in the back. I did try to match up the, you know, the size of, the, uh, of my wife, you know, mm -hmm. by moving back. Yeah, here's a night mode shot. I like the left, to me it looks the most natural. Yeah, the right one has like a green tint. It seemed like it to me, but yeah, I like the left also. The left one is the pixel. All right, so this is a terrible shot. I could barely even see this post, but I wanted to do a telephoto night mode shot on each one, handheld. I would say the left one for me, it just looks sharper than the rest. Yeah, I'd have to agree. The right one, that's like, if you look at the pole, you can't even see the little, uh, mm. you know, rivets. Yeah, I'm gonna go with the left too. The left one's the S23 with that 10X. Yeah, definitely more detail. Look at my tallies. <laughs> oh, no way. <laughs> That's incredible. He's not gonna choose. That is weird. <laughs> he can't choose a phone that he likes. <laughs> 
All right, this is also a night. So I have a lamp light behind me, extremely difficult situation with barely any light on my face, like no light. I like the left here. Me too. That's the iPhone. That is interesting. Basically, one thing I noticed is that it, it brightens up the entire display, super bright. Here is a Dickie sign. Really similar. Uh, the middle one just kind of jumps at you as, you know, sharper than the others right away. Yeah, me too. Middle's the iPhone. Interesting. Surprisingly, yeah. And here's another one. It was extremely dark here. To me, I like the left one just feels the most balanced. So same thing here. I, you know, the left one looks the most natural, but I'm actually gonna go with the middle because you're kind of showing off your technology, what you can do in such a dark place. So, you know, in this situation, I think the over, you know, AI stuff, I think mm -hmm. is actually helpful. So I'm gonna go with the middle. S23 in the middle. Pixel on the left. All right, next one. I like the left one, it's most, most natural looking. Yep, me too. Left one? Yeah. That's the S23. And this is the final shot. This is the longest exposures on each one. I actually had it sitting down on a little tripod. I like the left one. Just, um, it looks the most natural to me. Yeah, I'm gonna go with the left also. And the left was the iPhone. So how long was that exposure? So the iPhone's 30 seconds. The Whoa. S23, also 30 seconds. The Pixel, guess how long it was, guys? 30 seconds? 30 seconds? <laughs> Four minutes. Whoa. Four minutes. I literally was getting impatient because I'm like, okay, great, <laughs> two minutes. Okay, one minute. Four minutes it was sitting there. But that was that. So that was the last one. That was 35 photos. So you guys have your tallies and you guys as well. Let us know down in the comments before you see their answers revealed what you got as well. So what do you guys have? So I have... Uh, 16 for the iPhone 15 Pro Max, so that's the winner. Mm -hmm. uh, second place goes to Pixel 8 Pro with 11 votes, and last place goes to the S23 Ultra with 8 votes. Okay. So I have 13 for the iPhone, 10 for the Pixel, and 12 for the Samsung. So I think it's very, very close. Wow. So just barely, barely the iPhone 1 for you guys, especially Eugene for you. So that was probably closer than it was last year, huh? I think so, yeah. 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 Not bad. So, well, there you guys go. Hopefully you enjoy this video with a professional photographer point of view from Ben and Eugene. If you enjoyed it, subscribe above and definitely check out one of those videos right over there, maybe even last year's version of this video. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video. So Eugene, looks like you can keep your iPhone 15. <laughs> you don't have to cancel it. Yeah.